it's it's really ridiculous. Even uh, this one was really funny. A bag of dicks. The Oregon militia wants you to stop sending them dildos. This week, the militia that's been occupying a wildlife refuge in Oregon since early January showcased some of the hate mail they've received. And, and buy this ridiculous stuff. Yep, that's a dildo. The militia's been the butt of jokes since the day they started their occupation. People immediately liken them to terrorists, giving them fun nicknames like Al Qaeda and Vanilla ISIS. But the protests have since turned sexual. All week, people have been tweeting erotic fan fiction featuring the ranchers. It ain't snacks I'm hungry for, Trevor. Ryan's heart was beating wildly beneath the quilted flannel of his shirt. Before you say that sending sex toys is childish, this isn't the first time people have used them in protests. LGBT activists in Russia have sent boxes of dildos to Vladimir Putin to protest anti-gay legislation and even made Putin butt plugs. When campus carry laws in Texas allowed students to bring guns to class, students protested by carrying dildos instead. Sex toys are used in gun safety PSAs. If they find it, they'll play with it. So always lock up your guns. And for whatever this is. Sex toys are often used to confront the insecurities of hateful people, but the militia thinks that the toys themselves are hateful. Rather than going out and doing good, you know, um, they just spend all their money on hate and hate and hate and hate. So we're gonna... Look, if anybody knows hate, it's this guy. John Ritzheimer is known for organizing armed, anti-Muslim protests across the country. His rhetoric has gotten so hateful, the FBI is monitoring him. Muslims, you just fucked with the wrong fucking family! Fuck all of you! Fuck your book! Fuck your religion! Take it all and shove it up your fucking ass! I think we know what we have to do. This is your mic check.